Hi, this is Claudia. It's June 6th and we're ready to take a look at the Coba Hive. It's a bright sunny day in the high 80s. A lot of bees are out foraging. Alright, let's take a quick look inside the syrup box. A good bit of syrup in there and no drowned bees. That's a good thing. Alright, today we want to look and see if there's any brood in box two. Box two has been on now for two weeks. We have some nice activity here. There is a little stairway up to the syrup box. So that's all a good sign. Put this frame holder on and then take a look at the small hive beetle trap. I don't see any running around. The trap is still empty. That's all good. Alright. There seems to be nice general um, distribution of bees on all the frames. All right. Last week there was very little comb buildup on these last hives. Today frame 8, this is the inner part, is pretty well built up. The outer side has a very shallow um, comb, but we see the bees are working. So let's put this over here for now. Last week we did not see the queen. We saw a lot of brood. There's the queen. Right there. Get her, Bob. Where is she? Where is she? She's heading down. All right, she's over here. Oh, there she is. All right. I'm going to move this here just so she's over the box. All right, so this is uh, frame six. It's fairly heavy. This again is just nectar and pollen. A lot of activity here, but no brood. All right, this is the inner side, and you can see all that capped. Call it, it's really capped syrup because we've been feeding the bees. We can't really call it honey, but there's some nice pollen in there, bright yellow over by my left hand. So let's put this back in. I have not smoked the hive at all. They are very calm today, and that's a nice thing. All right, here's five right in the center, and this is real heavy. We've got, oh, look at that. That's all new from last week. Lots of brood, open cells. There's uncapped larvae in there, and then across the top is that arc of capped food stores. So this hive is doing great. I'm going to put this back in here. And we're going to jump down to frame one just to see how far the bees have done with their building. We may want to put box three on today. After all, we were unsure whether we would need to do that. All right, frame one is pretty light. The inside is built up, the combs build up, not much in there. The outer part is not built. So we have a good six to six and a half frames that are built. We've got brood up here. What do you think, Bob? Should we add box three? Absolutely. I think so too. All right, let's put this back in. We don't really need to get into box one. We've seen the queen. We know she's laying. And we'll put this all back together. If we can do a hive and have the, the hive open for 10 minutes or less, that's all the better. The less we disrupt the bees work, the more they get done. 
There's box three. That's the box three of the bird boxes. Put this in here. And once again, we've got brand new wire wax frames. Okay, let's set these up here. And I will add a little syrup here. There are very few bees in the dome. There's great weather for foraging and plenty of forage here in my little suburb. And that should take care of it. But since there's a new a new hive body on there, they're gonna be building new wax, so it'd be a good idea to just go ahead and give them some some sugar water. Alright. And here goes the telescope and cover. That's it for this week. Thank you.